Hey everybody, this is Kits Cars. I realized that I made a couple of large emissions with my last uh, review on the 296 GTB versus the McLaren Artura. There are two things that make the Artura pretty interesting that I thought were stood out to me that I forgot to mention in the review. The first thing is that the McLaren saved weight by not having a reverse gear. Since they have the hybrid gear in and the motor, it's easier to turn a motor backwards. So the only way to back the McLaren up is with the electric motor. And the other thing that's interesting is this is McLaren's first actual LSD that they have put in a car, limited slip differential, uh, that they've put in a car since the F1. None of the current road cars have had a LSD. They always have used the uh, rear brakes to uh, stop the car or to stop the wheels from spinning to act like an LSD. But if you disable the trash control, uh, all the uh, LSD action goes away and you just have an open differential. It's one of the reasons that the 600 LT and the 720 LT uh, don't slide around as well as the Ferraris and um, they are, uh, it certainly makes them a little bit more of a handful when you're trying to manage uh, the power coming out of uh, corners if you have the traction control off. Admittedly, they work really well with the traction control on, and you know most people shouldn't be disabling the traction control on public roads or on racetracks for the most part. Anyhow, the Artura does have an electronically, electronically controlled torque vectoring LSD that can do all sorts of fancy stuff. So really excited to see how that's gonna affect uh, its handling. But yeah, forgot those things and figured I'd make a video to quickly go over them now. Thanks everybody.